there are two types of vibration. During a vibration, the distance, bond distance may change or the bond angle may change or both may happen. That is the bond distance as well as the bond angle may change. Here, during stretching, the bond length changes. That is the bond distance changes. Suppose this is a bond and uh, when the bond is stretched, the length of the bond increases. When the bond is compressed, length of the bond decreases. This is known as stretching. During bending, the bond angle changes. That is, if we consider two bonds like this, during bending, the angle between the two bonds changes like this. Now, we go on to what is known as stretching. During stretching, the bond length changes and there are two types of stretching. The first stretching is what is known as symmetric stretching. Suppose this is a V-shaped molecule having two bonds and during symmetric stretching both the bonds are stretched. The length of both the bonds increase simultaneously and the length of both the bonds decrease simultaneously. Increases, decreases, stretches, compresses and these things happen we call this as symmetric stretching and the second type of stretching is asymmetric stretching. Here, the, when the length of one bond increases, the length of the other bond decreases. When the length of this bond increases, the length of other bond decreases. This we call as asymmetric stretching. Next, we have bending. In the case of bending, we have two types of bending. One is in-plane bending in which the all the bonds are in the same plane during the case of bending, during the time of bending. Like this. Whereas, in out of plane bending, all the bonds will not be present in the same plane during the bending process. When one bonding bond goes up, the other bond may go down. Or both the bonds may go up or both the bonds may come down. And the direction of going up is indicated as plus and the direction of going down is indicated as minus. In the case of in-plane bending, we have two types. The first type is scissoring, where the two bonds, if I hold like this, one will approach each other like this, and the two bonds will go away from each other. Direction of one bond is opposite to the direction of the other bond. And this is like the movement of the blades of a scissor. And so this is known as scissoring. And uh, this is an in-plane bending method. That is, the both the bonds are in the same plane during bending. The second, they are uh, indicated by the direction of the arrows. The second method of in-plane bending is rocking. Here, the both the bonds move in the same direction. That is, like this. And this is represented by the diagram shown here. The, both the arrows are in the same direction. The next is the outer plane bending. In the outer plane bending, there are two types. That is, if you have two bonds like this, and they will go outer plane. That is, either they will go up or they will go down. When you go up and both goes up, we find uh, there are two positive signs which indicate going up. 
when both the bonds go down it is indicated by two negative signs either both the bonds go up or both the bonds come down and this is known as wagging this is known as wagging the next the, the next uh, type of auto plane bending is twisting here when one bond goes up the other bond goes down when this bond goes down the other bond goes up and the movement is like this and uh, these are indicated by two signs on one atom you find a positive sign on the other atom you find a negative sign in the essence we find there are two modes of vibration one is stretching and another is bending during stretching the bond distance changes we have two types symmetric stretching and asymmetric stretching in symmetric stretching the length of both the bonds agrees on the length of both the bonds decreases in asymmetric stretching the length of one bond increases while the length of another bond decreases in the case of bending there is no change in length but there is change in angle there are two types of bending one is in plane bending another is out of plane bending in plane bending all the bonds are in the same plane during the bending action if the two bonds approach each other that is the direction of the two bonds is opposite to each other then you call this as scissoring the, if the direction of both the bonds are same then we call this as rocking if it is out of plane bending the bonds go out of the plane both the bonds bonds go up the plane both are positive when both the bonds go down the plane both are negative if this movement occurs we call it as wagging if one bond goes up while another bond goes down if one bond goes down while another bond goes up we call this as twisting these are the different modes of vibration thank you